Welcome everybody to the Rick and Kelly show with the Daily Smash Thursday. August well, 11th. Yay! Where's Rick? Uh, Rick is uh, recovering from his rhinoplasty <laughs> and he looks great. And so you guys will get to see him on Monday. Awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see his big reveal and how he looks. <laughs> Because women have it done all the time and men don't. And so, you know, we all want to look our best. And so Rick is doing that. I got his teeth, his nose. Eyes. Oh yeah, I got his eyes done. That's it, I'm done after this. I don't think you have anything, you have a, you have a pretty good um, D and <laughs> you have nice hair. I don't, and you have a good body. Thank I, you. And, um, I can't make you taller. However, oh, well. he's 5'10", I'm 5'8". Yeah. If I could make you 6'5", that would be perf. I'm kidding. I can wear uh, really big heels, like like Kiss heels. You could? Or like like Prince? Uh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> okay, a quick reminder. Just interviewed Vicky Gummelson yesterday, and that show is available to you guys by subscription. You can watch the show on our Rick and Kelly Show Patreon channel, or you can subscribe on Spotify or Apple for the audio version of the interview. Plus the rest of our 51 shows are all available now on patreon.com, Spotify, or Apple. Vicki and I talked everything housewives, her past relationships, her current relationships, her feelings about Dorenda Medley. After the ultimate, ultimate girls trip, what she thinks about the current housewives cast and who her favorite co-stars are. <laughs> so check out her Patreon, Spotify, or YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So Reality Blurb um, wrote a uh, comprehensive article in a beef about Melissa Gorgon. I, I and I get people saying, "Oh, you, you're thirsty. You're putting out things on there." Hey, I, I wasn't. I was just minding my own business. I, I, I'm just sitting here, look, sitting, sitting, sitting here. Yeah, and then I, on Melissa's podcast, Reza from the Shahs of Sunset was there. By the way, Shahs of Sunset was canceled, right? I watched Shahs of Sunset because of Reza. I was friends with of Reza. I honestly don't understand why he hates me. Does he hate me because he thinks that like I'm a conservative? Like, really? Like, like you're going to get mad? Like, you're why can't we up. all... I'm not woken up. Like, I don't understand why people get mad. Like, I'm like, you know what? My friend Doug in Napa is so fucking woke and I'm totally cool with him. We probably don't see eye to eye on things, but we're friends. Like, why are you a hater player? All right. So, uh, Reality Blur wrote an article and it starts like this. If you want to throw a bomb, I'll throw a nuke. That's what I said. That was my line. Those were the words. No one has my one-liners everyone just pretends i i'm the only one that comes up with stuff like those were the words of kelly dodd uttered three years before her firing from the real housewives of orange county exactly her controversial behavior is as alive as ever according to reality blurb her latest platform is the rick and kelly show where kelly unleashes her thoughts on the current seasons of the franchise along her alongside her husband rick leventhal in a recent episode kelly discussed melissa gorgas plastic surgery comparing her face from before and after, Melissa then discussed Kelly on her On Display podcast while interviewing Reza Farahan from Shots of Sunset, which was recently canceled. And Reza said, What I do notice is how repulsed I am by people that were formerly on shows and now they do commentary and it's all negative. Yes, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. He didn't talk bad about MJ, whom I'm friends with. Okay. And I'm not going to mention the people's names, but like I would never do that. Oh, you would never. It's not my thing, but like- Oh, I it's would, not your thing. You just go on podcasts t to time after time because you don't have your own. You're not smart enough to do what we, Rick and I do. We do this all by ourselves. We're on one pony show. We put all this together and we put it on YouTube. We, you, uh, Rez is not smart enough. But then he said- He has to go on everybody else's then he said. Then he said, I would disappear. Right. Melissa said, she says the most horrible things about me. Can I just tell you, anytime I've ever seen a woman, she's run to me. She's like, hi, how are you? She talks I, I, about my looks. What are you talking about? I, I, uh, her husband bought me a coffee at Dunkin' Donuts at the, in, at, Vegas. In, in Vegas. Like he was so cool to me. She is a snob, you guys. I'm sorry, 
But I say hi to all my fans. I am the nicest person. You are. I am. I am like, I'm legit. Not, I'm like, I'm hometown, go town, girl town. Like, sweetest person. Well, this article points out that... I am not a snob. That girl, 100%, is a snob. And the only reason why she's on this show is because of Teresa. And I can tell you right now, off the cuff, to be 100% real, Teresa is a million times better than this girl. I like Teresa. She's a, a gem. She's a delight. She's married now. Married, but not buried! Whoa! Woo! I, 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 I'm legit a man hater. I'm sorry. I'm not with Rick, but I ain't... If I didn't have Rick, I would be a man hater. I'm not. I, I'm like, I'm just being real, yo. Wow. Guys are freaking assholes, and that's just between women and I. This is we're keeping it real here. Okay. Well, you married a guy who's not. So congratulations. Yes, thank you. We have one more page, baby. Wrap us out of this. Thanks for helping. <clears throat> Thanks for helping to make the Daily Smash a success. See you tomorrow. I'll meet you in the ladies' room. I love my girls. I love my women.